Hello. Today I'm going to share with you a little saxophone exercise, which is also at the same time a kind of philosophical inquiry or a little question. It uh, has different titles. One of them could be, When Does the Air Become Sound? Another one could be, When Do the Waves Touch the Shore? And another one could be, How Does the Moon Kiss the Sun So Perfectly? The little exercise, or the structure itself, is very simple. And basically, we blow air into the saxophone, and at a certain point, a tone emerges. And this is like a little exploration, which in which you can find out for yourself, when does the tone actually kick in? It would sound something like this. All I'm doing in this little thing is just exploring that little space when the air itself suddenly becomes a tone. Now a scientist or someone like that would, would say the air is going into my body, I'm breathing in through my nose, it's exiting through my mouth, it's passing through the saxophone and as it does at some point it starts to vibrate this little piece of wood here which encodes the air column with some information which then leaves the saxophone, travels through the air, mysteriously lands in the ear of the listener, and that encoded information or that tone is then received by the listener. And the question I'm asking is, when is that point exactly when the air becomes the sound? And again, the scientist would say, well, that's very easy. That point is when the reed vibrates enough to put that information into the air column. I would say, is it really the point? Is that really the case? Is maybe that point where the air becomes the sound somewhere else on the axis of time? Is it even possible that that sound, that the tone is there before, present, before we actually perceive it in our ears, somewhere. And here again, the scientist or the skeptic or Mr. Measure would say, that's not really possible. I would say it is possible because I've done this thousands of times, and it feels to me like the tone is there somewhere, and that before even the, ve the air starts to vibrate, in that little 220 cycles per second, that little A, yeah, that the tone is actually already there. Not possible, says the scientist. But I'm only asking a question. The same question as, when does the wave exactly touch the shore? Or, regarding the moon, when I'm, sitting, when I'm on the earth, on this good earth, and I look up on a certain day, and the size of the moon almost perfectly, almost perfectly covers the size of the sun. I simply ask, is that a coincidence? Maybe it is.